Yeah, were you yeah. ever caught by curfew, Prof? Oh, yes. I even went to sell because of that. Oh, tell me. Yeah, you what? know, those days you have to go and queue to buy soap. Okay. And if so you buy kenke, mm -hmm. in it raw form and go and cook it. Okay. So pre cooked kenke? Yes. The yeah. store was going to open at 8 o'clock in okay. the morning. Uh -huh. But because we want to go, people will go and put stones over there and go home yeah. because of the curfew. Uh -huh. But that day we went at 5.30, thinking about six, when the curfew hours is over, we jump. By 5.30, this uh, PDC boy, they just came and said, you, you violated curfew. And they took me to the cell. Which cell? Anglongar cell. What was from it like? 5 to 5 p.m., from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. You had 12 hours in the cell? Oh, yes. Who, 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 were, who were your cellmates? I didn't know them, but they were elderly people and they committed various crimes. Including I saw one person who murdered somebody who was there. And he was your roommate? He was my cellmate for that day. How many of you were in the cell? Can you remember? Oh, about 12. Uh, and, and we have a small cell and a big cell. You were in the, the small cell? The small cell is for the women. So I was put there first, but around 7 a.m. they transferred me to a the bigger cell. Yeah. How big was the cell? Like from here to here? It's about 12 by 12. Wow. Yeah. 12 feet by 12 feet? Yes. Like mm. that? No, yes. And you were there? Yeah. Uh, were, were you fed? No, I wasn't fed. They brought food from home. Oh, your people knew you were there? Oh, the news spreader, hey, this guy who went to form a queue has been arrested. How old were you then, Prof? Sorry, <laughs> I, I was 15 years at that time. You had hair? 15 years. Did you have hair? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like, like an afro or something? <laughs> oh, it was an afro, but not <laughs> that. <laughs> were you scared? Uh, well, uh, I wasn't scared, but, but I thought they were just joking because I knew them. We we're all friends. Oh you, oh, you knew the officers? I knew them. <laughs> but, Kaf, within those periods, whether they were your friends or not, once they become yeah. PDC, PDC or CDR, yeah, they, 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 they are at, at a different level. I thought they were just joking with me. They hooked me <laughs> and sent me inside. What? Yes. So when you talk about military, he, he did not experience it. I experienced it. On top of that, he said, I should come and sweep the police station for one week. Oh, after that, you, you left the yeah. place. Did you do it? Oh, one of the policemen, don't mind that. Don't care. You committed no crime. <laughs> <laughs> that was how I was saved. What an experience. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> were, you, did you th were you scared? Yeah, I, I, no, I wasn't scared, but I didn't understand why my own friends... I knew very well would do that to me. Knowing very well I have to go to school that day also. You see the point. I was going to form the queue, so I'll go and call my mom. I form the queue for you camp. Just to buy one bar of kiss soap. That's all. Guardian soap. Oh. Guardian that red you. one. One, two. They will give you. That's all. Even you will kill the whole day, you won't get anything. Guardian took you to jail. Oh. You don't have it. <laughs> come, come. Did you have any experience with curfews? A lot. Uh, just what, what, what he was describing. I mean, the same thing. I mean, we lived in La and uh, you have to go and queue for the kinky. So you go and cook at home. Uh -huh. Yes. And you know, La, the, the, there's a place called the Girl Park. That place in Pamwai Junction was closed. And yes. the soldiers are always around. Mm -hmm. So we live behind the post, well, the school park. So I decided to get there around 5.45. I decided mm -hmm. to get there around 5.45. And one of the... <laughs> I grew to know that that, that rank was uh, what a private. Mm, mm. The guy just slapped me. <laughs> oh. The guy just slapped me, and for for, for no that? reason, mm. he slapped me. And I sound said, you, oh, sound what you. Have I done to you? And he slapped me again. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't respond. I just ran back home. Doctor, where is sound? In <laughs> sound in, 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 in pigeon. Okay. He so, sound you. So so then so I decided that I will not do that to you again. So I resolved to you know yellow corn. Those days it was yes, yellow yes. corn and yeah. then semolina. Those were the things I was eating. I ate that one one man. Did you see I, the slap coming? I, I didn't actually. I didn't because I, I was I was running to the place. So I'll be I'll be there uh, and then buy the kinky. So this guy came from nowhere and the guy just slapped me like that. So what about that? Then a second slap followed. And I realized that the, the gentleman meant business. So I better run back. Did you see that? I mean it wasn't a, a slap from behind or no, like... no, no, the guy was here. I saw him coming. So I, but I didn't know he was coming to slap me. What did, you, what, did, what did you say when he slapped you? I said, what have I done to you? And then a second slap followed. So I yeah, and that's, that sealed your lips. That, that, then nah, I said, I wasn't going to ask any question again. The best thing is for me is to, is to, to run back. So when I go, they were asking me, I said, I will not talk to anybody. <laughs> How old were you when this was happening, man? I, 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 I think uh, that was 81. Mm -hmm. 81. So I should be, uh, I think, around 10. 
Oh. 10, yeah, around a 10. solid slap on your face. Yes, around 10, oh, yeah. 10 11. Yeah. Uh, it's too bad, too bad. It's something I have never forgotten. Did you cry? No, in the, in instantly I couldn't cry. But when I got home, <laughs> when, when I got home and I, and I couldn't talk to anybody. So I locked myself up in a room and I, I, I cried. So when I came out, I narrated my story. I said, next time, you don't, you don't do that again. Master, those of you who are calling for coups and things, is this what you want? No, it's a serious matter. Yeah, yeah. 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 Any soldier will just kill you somewhere and sound yeah, you. They'll, they'll just slap you. Eh? For kinky. Just, small, yeah, uh, small guardian. Kinky. A whole prof. Mm. Uh, but then yeah. you were a pre-prof. You're not yet quite a prof. Oh, no. I, I, yeah. I didn't even know I'd become a prof. Yes, so. but they... they, 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 they oh, they you just hooked me like that. I was working like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So, guys, yeah. please. Oh, wow. uh, uh, it may look romantic. It may sound interesting and exciting. and But the reality of living in the, under a military regime... It's not something that you want to experience. You know, but Kaf, let them a... understand too that in a military regime, nobody will present a budget. Mm. There is no budget to be presented for anybody to scrutinize. And you don't know how much they collect. You don't know how they spend the money. Mm -mm. Yet they are ruling. You know, th these are the realities. So democracy is better. This show will not be around. Yeah. You can't have a show you like can't, this. No, you can't. A, a by the time, by the the time you finish, uh, there's, a, there's, there, there's a vehicle outside waiting yeah. for you. There used to be announcements uh, on the news. No, for they, people, to, people to report. Yes, they, in fact, appointments are made by announcements and dismissals are made by announcements. On the radio. On the radio. So, one o'clock, six o'clock news are very, very important news. Everybody was listening. <laughs> yes, you listen. They can ask you to either report at the Gonda Barracks Barra place mm. or you have been fired and you don't have the right to go and ask the reason why you've been fired or somebody has been appointed. You know, and. and <laughs> yeah, back in Ghana, back in the day, when you had Gonda Barracks. Fear went through your body. When you hear Gonda Barras, you hear 64 infantry. Mm. You have to be, you have to sit where. So a word to the wise is enough. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, personal experiences from uh, Archimedes, right? No. Sagacity. Sagacity. Yes. yes. <laughs> and it's co-panelist. I think those who call for military rule never experience it, so they think it's cool. The stories my great-grandmother told me about the military regime always sent a shiver down my spine whenever anyone talks about military rule. Thank you. Master, I'm over 60 years old, so I know what I'm talking about. Are you telling me you are satisfied with the condition in your country? Afuga, I'm only 52, but would you like a coup? That's my response. <laughs> King Achi from Tano, so loving your show, the show this morning. We are loving the fact that you are loving our show. Thank you. Good morning, Jamal. Ghana spent millions of dollars on black stars, and yet we are here paying taxes abnormally. Sometimes to come, the government will pay us and take back everything. Yeah, there was a, there was a story there about the amount of money that was budgeted for the black stars, mm -hmm. uh, 8.5 million US yeah. dollars, yeah, and the total exactly. price money was going to be what, 7 million? 7 million. That's a deficit economy we're running there. You spend 8.5 to get 7. Bad business, if you ask me. Yeah, bad business. Maybe it's good they're back. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Eric Odrow, yesterday you were live. Uh, 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 you, uh, your host, uh, you, you, you were talking to uh, about the just ended MPP candidates at the election, the role of senior public officers. Can you please update us from today? You, you, I, we called it yesterday in connection yes, with I did, I did, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, people uh, staying in public institutions but also doing partisan politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Kaf. Uh, your name is Eric. You're, you're a deaf guy from Upper West. Um, I love watching GTV, but unfortunately, there's no interpreter to translate mm -hmm. to us deaf people in Ghana to also enjoy oh, your okay. shows. Now, that's a really good point. It is. And one of these days, we will surprise you. Mm. All right? F plans are far advanced. I don't even know how to sign that. Um, but, yeah, yeah, probably... I think on, on, on YouTube, they, they show the subtitles. Mm. Of, uh, of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so YouTube will give us subtitles so you can read. But the signing... Watch out, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Uh, Eric, wow. I like that. Uh, Cody Vipe played a very good match yesterday. I really enjoyed the game. It says Atawusu da Costa. Yeah, it's a mixture of Ghanaian and, and maybe Spanish. Uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger have taken the lead. Okay. And you think ECOWAS countries will one day go to understudy their model for success? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One key thing in development is energy resources, where a nuclear power plant is under construction in Burkina Faso, which will have stabilized their energy needs and even export it to other countries. So let's watch for the African United Nations. Uh, thank you. Aung. Why skip messages? No, I didn't skip any messages. I read yours. Uh, okay, I think those are our messages so far. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. 
Yeah. Mm. I'm still thinking about those stories you told us about curfews, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Curfews, they, 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 they were really yeah. difficult. They, they were, In fact, they were, my mom they were. had to walk from the International Students Hostel at the airport to mm. Madina Zungu Junction. Mm. No car? No car. No car. No car. When she got home, I mean, we were sad for her. She was working at the International Students Hostel as, mm. because she was a staff of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and she had to walk. She had to walk. Cack deep. Uh. She had to walk. You know, so... Uh, people should really <laughs> yeah. appreciate the and democracy we are enjoying today. And uh, can you no catch up? There's no car. Mm -hmm. I remember my dad told me that, uh, and you had these uh, unauthorized roadblocks. Yes. One day he was driving from from um, uh, Jolu, heading towards Setekwashi, and he realized that some people had set up a, a roadblock, mm. and they wanted him to stop. My father looked at the whole thing, and he said he had a funny feeling that this roadblock was not... Mm correct one so he what he did was he lowered his head pressed his foot on the accelerator <laughs> and drove through the road so block. Became the fire. and you could yeah there were guns mm -hmm. there were gunshots mm -hmm. bullets flying by yeah they opened fire on him and he just drove through you know it was, mm -hmm. it was crazy time so yeah so please guys don't be wishing for things that you don't even know what you don't even know what what, what you're talking about cool cool things man the 80s were, were terrible those who lived in the 70s and the 80s yeah, 90s babies, please. Mm, uh, mm, mm. Do your TikTok videos and mm. things. This is not cool, no mm, be joke. So, Cap, Cap, <laughs> they should read Kendall Jackson's book mm. on when gun rules. Mm, mm, when mm, gun rules. Mm. If you read Kendall Jackson's book, yes. you will understand what we are saying. Indeed. Yeah. When gun rules.